In this video, we will look at a couple of examples to practice working with double bar graphs. Example A, Carrie Sue is surveying a random sample of students to determine which sports they would like to have set up at the end of year safe grad event. She collects the following data. So we have four different sports, racquetball, basketball, volleyball, and swimming, and it's been broken down by girls and boys. So this is a great place to draw a double bar graph because we have two sets of data. We have the set of data for girls and the set of data for boys, and we might want to compare those. So draw a double bar graph and help Carrie Sue determine which two sports would be the most equally liked by both girls, boys and girls at the end of your safe grad event. All right, so to make a double bar graph, the first thing that we want to do is set up our four categories and scale our y-axis for frequencies. In this case, we should probably go from 0 to 10. So scrolling down here to our graph, we're going to need four categories and go up to 10. Okay, now we have our graph set up and we just need to place our bars. So we'll have one set of bars for girls and one for boys. For girls, the, prefer or the numbers were 6, 3, 5, and 7. And let's make girls be purple. So 6, 3, 5, and 7. So for racquetball, they had a preference or they had six votes for racquetball. So we'll have our first bar going up to six. For basketball, there were three students. For volleyball, it was five. And for swimming, it was seven. So our purple is representing our girls. Now we're going to put in the information for the boys with the second set of bars. And we'll make red be the data for the boys. So for the boys, we had three for racquetball, six for basketball, then five and eight. So three, six, five, and eight. So we'll put in that information right next to the bars for the girls, but so that there's still space in between the different categories. And there we go. So there is our double bar graph. Now the question was, what are the two sports that are most equally liked? So we should be looking for the two sports where the girls and the boys are closest. And I can see that is volleyball, where they're in complete agreement, and swimming, where they are only one off. Both basketball and racquetball were much strong, more strongly preferred by one gender over the other. So I would say she should go for volleyball and swimming. Example B, Mrs. Smith teaches both academic and advanced math. She has been teaching these two courses for the past four years. She decided she wanted to compare her grades to see how each class was doing over the past few years and she, see if she has improved her class instruction at all. Her data can be found below. So we have the grades for academic math and advanced math by year. So our years are our categories. We have four categories and we'll have grades for academic math and then for advanced math. So the first thing that we want to do is draw our double bar graph and set it up so that we have our four yearly categories and set up the right scale for the y-axis. So now we have that set up and we can add in our data for the different years, for the different two different classes. So first we can do academic math, and that's these numbers right here. So we'll make a different bar for each of those four years for academic math. So in 2007, it was 61.3. So our first bar for 2007 is up to, as close as we can estimate, to 61.3. The next bar was 67.9. So in 
So for the next one, we'll go up to about 67.9. and continue on in this way to draw the last two bars. So that's what the bars look like for academic math. Now we're going to do the same thing for advanced math, and then we can analyze our graph. So for advanced math, the first data point was 74.7 in 2007. So we can pick a new color and go up to 74.7 for 2007. And then again, do the same thing, adding in the next three bars. And there we have our complete double bar graph. Now, the question was, did Mrs. Smith's instruction improve over the past four years? Can we tell? Now, it's a little bit hard to say. If we look at academic math, we can see that the scores went up, but then they went down, and then they went up again. So it's hard to know what that was necessarily based on. There's lots of factors for grades over the years. For advanced math, it went up for two years and then down a little bit. But overall, it was sort of trending up. So I would say perhaps her instruction has improved, but I might want to collect more data or survey the students or something like that to get a better sense for what really happened.